Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. God bless you. We come this morning uh, to celebrate another Lord's Day. Amen. 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 We come to lift up our voices. Yeah. And to lift up our hearts and, yeah. and praise to the God who made us and who sustains us and Amen. who provides all of our needs. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. We come reading this morning from the 107th Division of Psalms, the first through the seventh verses. First verse, six verses, excuse me. And it says, I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. For Amen. he is good, mm -hmm. and his mercy endures forever. Amen. Let the redeemed mm -hmm. of the Lord Say so. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, mm -hmm. and, gathered, and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Mm -hmm. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Mm -hmm. Hunger and thirsty, mm -hmm. the soul fainted in them. Amen. Then they cried unto the Lord in their troubles, and he delivered them out of all their distresses. Amen. God bless the reading of his word this morning for the good and the edification of my soul. Amen. Amen. Church. Morning. We all uh, bow in prayer together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all here today. And Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come and meet with you at your throne and praise your mighty name. Mm. Thank you so much for guiding us through this week, keeping us safe. Because there were many, Lord, who lost their lives due to senseless violence, Amen. sickness, or just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Amen. But Lord, you protected us. Amen. And we come and say thank you, Father, Amen. for your grace and your mercy. We come today to give you praise, honor, and glory for all the blessings that you've given us. Even if this week has been a struggle for some, it could have been worse if it was not for you. Amen. Amen. Lord, we ask for traveling grace for members who are on their way to service and who are traveling or just out of place. Amen. We ask for prayer for the poor, for the sick, and for the homeless. Father, that you bless them with healing, with, with uh, provisions and, and whatever that they need. Mm -hmm. We ask that this service be pleasing in your sight and for preaching power for your man, servant, brother Miles. Amen. You fill them with the Holy Spirit and you bring us a word straight from you. We ask all of this in your sons and our Savior's mighty name. Thank you. Amen. 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 Voice going. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's all right. I know. I think I need to practice a little more often. Get with Jay. But we're going to sing a couple of verses from Hydra in the Blood, number 194. Hydra in the Blood. I'm sure many of you know that. <clears throat> Let's see. Come from the lonesome way of sin. Oh, Hydra in the Blood of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
to give God all worship, honor, and praise. Amen? Amen. Come on and say it like you mean it. This is the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. And I am his child. And I am his child. I come for none other purpose, I come for none other purpose than to worship him and to worship in, spirit in spirit and in truth. And in truth. Because he is the creator. Because he is the creator. And I am the creature. And I, am the creature. I will hear his word. I will, hear his word. I will believe his word. I will I will live this word. I will live this word. And I will share his word. And I will share his word. Turn to your neighbor now. Give a friendly smile and say, neighbor, neighbor. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord had made. That the Lord had made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. Come on and give somebody a hand clap of praise. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And shake somebody's hand and say, Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. We're thankful this morning to be here once again in the house of the Lord, Amen. to worship him and only him in spirit and in truth. Amen. God has blessed all of us once more and again to get up out of our beds, to take a fresh shower, Amen. to clothe our bodies. All right. Some of y'all have eaten already. Uh, but he's blessed you to walk in. I don't see any walkers in here this morning, Sister Kim. I don't see any wheelchairs. Right. I don't even see a cane. Yeah. So I know Praise we're doing all right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, you might have to wear glasses. Yeah. But thank God you can see. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all know there's some folk who got eyes. Uh -huh. Brother Tabor, but they cannot see. Brother Cliff, there's folk who got hands mm -hmm. and can't even dress their own body. All right. That's right. There's folk, Ayla, who got legs, mm -hmm. and they can't even walk. Mm -hmm. So you might not be able to run, Sister Gray, like you used to run. But thank God Almighty, you can still put one foot yeah. in front of the other. And yeah. yeah. the we ought to be, I said we ought to be grateful. Amen. Yeah. Sierra, the Lord is better, mm. better than good. Amen. Yeah, she is. I want to, before we get started this morning, I want to just... Uh, bring to your attention several of our members who are out of town. We have many members who are out of town today, uh, some who are not feeling well, they're ill, mm -hmm. and we want to just put it on your heart and mind uh, to pray for them before we go into the message on this morning. I, I don't plan to be long, but I, 
I got a feeling down in my soul. Go ahead, Miles. Go ahead. That there's going to be some preaching here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we're going to let the Lord have his way, but we want to remember our loved ones. Uh, we want to give the church a report. Uh, Sister Sinclair, the daughter of Sister Stephanie Holman, uh, went through her medical procedure very well. Man. Uh, she is recovering very well. And we want to continue to pray for Sinclair for a full recovery. Amen. And we want to pray for Sister Stephanie, who will be returning back home sometime this week. And we want to pray for Traveling Grace. Sinclair's father made it home safe already. Mm. We're grateful for his return home safe. Our brother Joe and Sister Tyra Dean, along with their son, Jakai, are out of town this morning. And we want to pray for their safe return. Brother Jay Shannon. Uh, is out of town this morning. We want to pray for his safe return. Sister Adriana McKinney's is out today. We want to pray for her Amen. safe return. Our very own Sister Rose Oliver uh, and Sister Tamika Robinson are both home ill, mm -hmm. not feeling well, and we want to remember them on today. And of course, several of these uh, members will be watching online with us uh, this morning. Uh, then I want you to remember my dear brother from another mother. Uh, evangelist Matthew Terry Sr., mm. who is literally in a battle for his life. Uh, he is ill, desperately ill. And I want you to remember him in your private prayers. Mm. Great friend of mine, my colleague from Southwestern Christian College. Uh, he always had a running joke, Sister Kim. Both our name was Matthew. And, and of course, I think he is a year older than me or so. And he wanted to always make sure I knew that he was the senior. Uh, he would always introduce me as this Matthew Jr. And, uh, he's a great friend. He's like a brother to me. And, and we want to pray for him and his beautiful wife, Jeanette, and his children. Let's keep them in our prayers. Then, of course, my mother, I thank you guys so much for all your prayers and concerns. Many of you ask about my mother. And we're just thankful for Dr. Ophir Miles, 94 years of age. And Amen. We want to Amen. pray for her and her primary caregivers, brother and sister John and Doris Thomas. Keep them in your prayers as well. I looked at him the other day and said, you getting old. <laughs> and he said, you getting old too. <laughs> and I said, well, David is only one other choice, and I'd rather get old right, than another right, choice. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so we want to continue to pray for them for healing, for strength, mm. and for comfort. And then my baby sister will be coming to spend some time with my mother or Sister Opal Johnson, um, some of you have met her on the call every morning, our 6.30 prayer call. Uh, she'll be traveling sometime this week, and I want you to please remember her in your personal prayers. And then we want to remember the Lyles family, Sister Rosemary Lyles and family, long-time staunch members and pillars of the Monroe Street Church of Christ, now the Jackson Boulevard Church of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, we celebrated the homegoing of her son on yesterday. And I want you to remember that family in your prayers. If you don't mind, bow with me now as we pray to God for our brothers and sisters and also as we pray that he will give me preaching power this morning to only exalt him and to edify the body. Lord God, we come once more and again. We thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings. Father, we pray this morning for Sinclair, for Sister Oliver, for Evangelist Terry, for Dr. Opia Miles, the Thomas family, pray for Sister Robinson, that you will touch and that you will heal their bodies. Give them rest for nights and peaceful days. Give them strength to hold on a little while longer. We pray that you give them peace, Father, and comfort. We're praying this morning for Sister Stephanie, Sister uh, Hunt Adriana, Joe and his family, Brother Shannon, praying for Sister Johnson, that you will give them traveling grace. Amen. That no hurt, harm, danger, death, disease, or delay will come to them, Father. But that they will arrive home and find all things well. We pray now 
for preaching and teaching power. I'm asking you to hide me behind the cross of Calvary. Anoint my head with wisdom and knowledge. Put strength in my body, soundness in my voice. Use my head, my eyes, my mouth to work in unison that I might preach only the things that are found written in your holy word. Help me when I'm right, but defeat me when I'm wrong, that you might receive all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, and that the lost might be saved, the saved may be edified, Satan terrified, and the man of God encouraged at the close of the day. Mm -hmm. This is our prayer. We ask in your holy son Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. Amen. Come on and stand one more time. Wake you up a little bit more. And I want to thank Brother George for reading our text this morning. Amen. Uh, full text, one through six. But just for emphasis sake, Sister Pat, I want to read verse number six of the 107th division of Psalms for emphasis sake. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble mm -hmm. and he delivered them out of their distresses. Mm -hmm. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Part three in perhaps the conclusion of this series. So I can get back to our theme of this quarter. God's got his family's back. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. Last week, Sister Kim, I left off talking to you, Brother George, from Romans 12 and verse number one, Brother Tabor. Brother Spence, Paul is urging Sister Martha total devotion. Mm -hmm. Brother Marcus to God in dedication, worship, and service. Uh -huh. He suggests to us, Sister Pat, that anything less than total devotion to God is short, Jewel, of his glory. Uh -huh. And Paul says, when we come short of the glory of God, that's sin. Y'all mm -hmm. ain't saying nothing. Uh -huh. You see, God will not be second. Uh -huh. Amen. That's right. He's not going to play second fiddle to your mama, uh -huh. as precious as mother is. Uh -huh. And if you didn't listen, go back and listen to my minute with Miles from yesterday. Mother is a precious gift. Uh -huh. And you should be planning right now, if your mother is still living, you should be planning right now to do something special for your mother. Because she's special. But God will not come second to your loving, beautiful mother. Uh -huh. Your daddy may have been a wonderful provider. Uh -huh. A good spiritual man. Uh -huh. An example of a believer. Uh -huh. But God will not play second fiddle to your daddy. Uh -huh. That's right. I know you carried your baby nine months. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the doctor got it wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and you went a little further than what the doctor said. Well, that's because the doctor didn't make your baby. Uh -huh. right. Who do you think it was that... Form that child in your bosom. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Form that child and brought that child safely through the birth canal and raise that baby up from a child to where he is now. Who do you think it was that gifted you with that child? God knows how special a baby is, but I stand here flat-footed to tell you that he won't be second to God. All right. He won't be second to your baby. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. That's right. That's right. God expects us yeah. to give him all total devotion. God expects to be first, first before your job, first before your career, first before your family. God is going to be first or he won't be at all. All right. 
This is what Paul is telling us, Brother Tabor. You see, the Holy Word of God urges us, Sister Black, it urges us in verse number one uh, to be totally devoted. Uh -huh. He urges devotion. Uh -huh. Uh, he says, present your bodies uh -huh. to God for his use. Uh -huh. Marcus, this looks like it's going to be a number four. Uh -huh. right, 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 right. This one's just been the introduction, right, Brother Smith. Right, right. but, but something that's telling me I need to labor here, Aris. Yeah. Uh, he, says, he says, present your bodies uh, to God for his use. Uh -huh. All right, that's it. I, I can't help but to tell you uh, that term, present, hmm. It's what we get our term present for. Yes, yes. And I don't know anybody, Sister Pam, in their right mind who would want to receive a gift, All right. a package, mm. all battered, worn, wrapped in greasy paper bag, used and used up, <laughs> and looking like a rat in the end, and you want to give it to me uh -huh. as a gift? Uh -huh. Y'all don't know when to shout. Uh -huh. But we serve a God, Sister Miles. I said, we serve a God who will accept you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Warm. Yes, sir. Tall. Yes, sir. Because he is more than able yes, to take a rabbit in the air and turn him into a beautiful. I said, I said he's able yes, to sir. take a rabbit in torn, beaten body and use it for his glory. Yes, the, the problem is, is how we look to present Ourselves to God. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. Turn to somebody and ask them how you gonna present yourself. How you gonna present yourself? Come on, tell somebody how you gonna present yourself. How you gonna present yourself? Yeah, you, 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 you for your boo. Yeah. Go ahead, man. You don't even know if that boo gonna turn into a booger bear. Oh Lord. <laughs> but brother Black, we will go out of our way. Yes, sir. We'll take some bill money. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Go ahead. When Christmas time comes, uh -huh. uh -huh. trying to impress Brother George, our honey boo. Uh -huh. Okay, you don't call him honey boo. Uh -huh. Your vanilla swirl. Uh -huh. Okay, you don't call him vanilla swirl. Your, your chocolate drop. All right. All right. Your everything. Uh -huh. Some of y'all, so besides yourself, you say you're mm mm boo. Uh -huh. Whatever it is, Jewel, we will take bill money uh -huh. to try to. Buy the best gift, Ayla. Mm -hmm. and, and then take it to another department store that don't even wrap gifts and then pay for that gift to be wrapped yes, so right. it can be presented yeah. Go ahead, my. as a beautiful sacrificial gift. Uh -huh. yeah. Paul said you ought to present your bodies to God uh -huh. as a living sacrifice. Uh -huh. That sounds like an oxymoron, oxymoronic statement. Mm -hmm. You see, an oxymoron is a statement that delivers a conflicting message. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How in the world can you be living mm -hmm. and a sacrifice at the same time? Uh -huh. How in the world can you be dead mm -hmm. and alive at the same time? Uh -huh. Well, Paul speaks again in Romans 6 and 6. It makes it clear that we got to kill that old man that's on the inside of us daily. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know you come to church. I know you come to Bible class. I know you know scripture. I know you give to the Lord. But you better watch yourself. Don't get beside yourself because any given day you can stumble and you can fall. Uh -huh. That's why we must present ourselves every day to God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Turn to somebody and tell them you gotta be intentional. You gotta be intentional. I said you gotta be intentional. Man. Paul says, present yourselves, brethren, by the mercies of God, a living sacrifice. Uh -huh. Sacrifice that old man and dedicate your body for the service of the king. Uh -huh. I think I told you before that one of the worst things that bugs me as a minister is when I hear people say, um, well, I don't really know how. Mm. Well, I really, I'm really, i really afraid of. Uh -huh. You got to submit yourself to proper training yes, all right. so yes, you won't be saying I don't know how. Yes, right. And so yes, you won't be saying I'm not afraid of. Yes, sir. What, are you, what are you giving your time and attention to? Uh-huh. In, in everything that you want to exceed in, mm -hmm. what do you do? Uh -huh. 
You'll spend time at it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Right. But I'm going to preach it anyway. Watch the tone as I move on. Watch the tone and the climate and the urgency of the text. Paul says that I beseech ye, brethren. Is that in your Bible? Amen. It's in there if you ain't torn it out. <laughs> Paul said, I beseech you. Uh -huh. The word that is parakaleo. Mm. Let me hear you say parakaleo. 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 Let me hear you say it again. Parakaleo. parakaleo. And the word there, Sister Miles, means to call for. Mm. Uh -huh. Brother Black, it means to exhort. Mm. It means to daily encourage. Mm. Selena, it means to summon. Mm. It means, Sister Evans, to entreat. Uh -huh. Brother Spence, it means to admonish. Uh -huh. right. yeah. uh, Brother Elliot, here's what I like because I think it really gives us the full totality of the picture. Paul is begging. Yeah. Paul is begging the saints at Rome uh -huh. to give themselves in total devotion to God. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you see the urgency? Don't you sit in here like you have got it all together, like you ain't never begged for nothing? Hello? Uh -huh. You ain't fooling me. I don't know what it was you begged for, but I know that all of us have certain urges in life. Uh -huh. yeah. All of us have cravings and desires. Yes, sir. And we say, baby, would you please do? Y'all ain't gonna help me here. When your nerves are worn and you're talking to your children, will you please sit down? Uh -huh. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. I want this job, Lord. Please give me this job. Uh -huh. My mama is sick and it's like she won't get well. Please heal my mama's yes, body. Yes, Everybody in here under the sound of my voice has begged or craved for something yes. in your life. But Paul is not begging for personal reasons. Uh -huh. Paul is not begging for a personal desire. Paul ain't even begging for himself. Paul knows that hell fire awaits those who don't put God first, who don't give their life to God. So he is doing what I do every Sunday and every Wednesday, every day that I give messages on our Facebook page. I am calling, I am summoning, I am begging you to give your life to God. Listen, church, every single event that this church plans, it is not for to fill up a calendar. It is not for us to say we're doing something. Every leadership meeting with Sister Miles, with myself, the other leaders, it is intentional that we are trying to beg you to give yourself to the Lord in total devotion. Amen. Amen. That's right. Total devotion. Amen. Total devotion. Turn to somebody and tell him he won't take nothing less. He won't, he won't take, take nothing, nothing less. less. Come on, church, say it like you mean it. Look at somebody in their eyes and say he won't take nothing less. He won't, he won't take, take nothing, nothing less. less. We got to get that, church. Yes, sir. That's it. We will see less empty pews All right. when we get that in our heart. Yeah. yeah. Say that. The offering will stay consistent Amen. when we get that in our heart. Amen. Yeah. More visitors will show up. When we get that in our heart, y'all yeah. ain't saying nothing. Oh, we'll be intentional on getting the church on time yeah. when we have total devotion to God. Amen. You get to work on time, you can get the church on time. Amen. It ain't no excuse. Amen. Say amen if amen. you can. Amen. We got to be intentional, church, yes, sir. in our total devotion. I ain't even got my notes yet. To our total devotion to God. That's right. Because I'm telling you, he will not accept nothing less. Uh -huh. You know, I'm trying to be more and more and more like God. Amen. That's why I don't argue with you. Yeah, that's right. Because God ain't going argue with you. Mm -hmm. God tells you what he wants. Now watch this. This has never changed. Mm. Through every dispensation, Amen. through the patriarch, through the mosaic, even through the Christian dispensation, this formula has never changed. Uh -huh. God speaks. Amen. He expects man to hear. Uh -huh. He expects man to obey. Amen. If man obeys, he rewards. Amen. If man dis disobeys, Punish. he punishes. Yeah. 
Yes, Brother and sister, yes, that was for your mama and your great, 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 great grandmama. Preach, mm -hmm. Miles. That's it. That's it. God doesn't argue. Mm -hmm. Where do you see in Scripture where God argued with anybody? Mm -hmm. He's supreme, Sister Kim. Mm -hmm. He doesn't argue. Mm -hmm. When he asked Satan, where have you been? Mm -hmm. Now, don't you think yeah. he didn't know where you've been? Mm -hmm. See, God is all about confession. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And about your heart and mm -hmm. intent. He wanted the readers to know mm -hmm. what Satan's intent was. Uh -huh. God knew it. Uh -huh. But he knew he was recording a document of faith mm -hmm. for us. Amen. And he didn't have no better sense. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Didn't I say, I've been walking up and down in your world. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you see I'm looking at God? Mm -hmm. I've been walking up and down in your world. Mm -hmm. Seeking whom mm -hmm. I may devour. God didn't argue. God said, hey, you know this fellow named Joel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Match uh -huh. now. <laughs> See, God is going to always have a true disciple. Uh huh. Preach. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. See, but you know what that tells me? I don't care what good works I do for God. Now, that's going to help somebody. Yeah, yeah. Marcus, we can never get a chip on our shoulder. That's right. right. That's right. And think we all of that. Uh-huh. No. No, you're not. You're not a number two with a great pop <laughs> and a pepper. Exactly. All right. That's right. I ain't going to give no free commercial, y'all. I ain't going to call no name. <laughs> but here's what I'm saying to you. Don't you ever think that you're the only one God got. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If you do, I double dog dare you to lay down and die. Mm. That's right. And see, don't he raise up somebody right. yeah. Yeah. to not only do your job but do a better job. All right, right. that's Amen. right. Amen. God looks Satan in the face, and I could just see God chuckling like this is a fool. Mm -hmm. He said, "You know, Joel, yeah. Yeah. have you considered my servant Joel?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> but don't miss this in the text. Mark, this is going to be a number four. I'm sorry, it's going to be a number. Four. He, he don't miss this in the text. Did you did you hear Satan say, "Who is Joel?" No, you don't know. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting it. Yeah, y'all not getting it. They're watching it. You see, not only does God has an all-seeing eye, that's right, yeah. that's right. But I told you last week that Satan got your number. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Turn to somebody and tell him he got your number. Uh -huh. He got your number. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Yeah. That's why you keep stumbling over the same thing. Now, if I took a poll today, how many else can truly say uh, that our sins are always new? Me and you, we stumble over the same things. Doug, because he got our number. Yeah. Ever he got our number. Right. Yeah. He knows what you like. So, so like when I go to the cookie aisle, <laughs> Selena, I ain't worried about no chocolate chip. Uh -huh. Now I'm not saying I won't eat a chocolate chip, yeah, yeah. but since the great that ain't my stomach the block. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about no sugar cookies, mm -hmm. butter cookies, brother Tabor one. It's when I get to the Oreo. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And God the mighty say it, say it. yesterday. <laughs> That's why it's not good for man to be alone. Uh -huh. <laughs> My wife was ministering and fellowship and in, 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 in devotion yesterday. And, and that's what she's committed. Yeah. With, with sisters, different sisters yesterday, she was committed to them. And, and, I, and I did a funeral yesterday morning. I drove back Selena. And David, the Lord said, it ain't good for a man to be alone. Man, get in trouble. Get in trouble. Yeah. And Sister Black, I'm saying, I told her, I said, honey, what you want to eat? She said, baby, you know I got another engagement at 6 o'clock. I said, okay, well, I'll pick up some. So I went uh, to this place to eat or to pick up something to take home. And I saw this cookie place. <laughs> Up. <laughs> it's new in town, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna get no commercial. <laughs> but sister, sister, uh, Pat, sister Pam, I have been telling her now. Let's go by and see. And she's been good. She's, baby, we don't need to go there. 
<laughs> she said, quit two months. She said, babe, we don't need to go there. <laughs> so guess what, Iris? <laughs> this day out by myself. <laughs> Me and the devil. <laughs> See, y'all can't be real. Uh, See, I keep it real, bro. Y'all can't be real. <laughs> me and the devil. Uh, he told me. Go ahead, go. Cliff, why don't you say amen? <laughs> and I went into that cookie house. <laughs> and Iris, it's not a big menu. But how many of you know that when the devil does something, he do it well? He do it well. And you know, guys, I'm not cheap. But I'm I'm careful with my money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the mom say, man, <laughs> I'm not cheap. But I'm careful yeah. with what God gives that's me. It, that's it. I don't spend frivolously. Uh -huh. And Marcus, I looked at the board, and they ain't got the little board you put on the wall. They got the the, the electronic screen. Get you, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then they got uh, the, the the monitor where you order over here and it comes out over there. Mm -hmm. And 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 it's not a big menu because they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And Brother Black, when I looked at the price of the cooking, I normally I would turn around and walk and say they'll eat it themselves. Mm -hmm. Four dollars and ninety nine cents for one cookie. Mm -hmm. But sister Pam, I told they know what they're doing. Brother Elliot, the cookie is not that big. Mm -hmm. Then it's got a, a certain glaze on the first layer. <laughs> then they got another cream <laughs> left on the top of that layer. Mm -hmm. I know y'all gonna go look for that place. Uh, I know I see it already, but just don't take the Lord's money now. Leave <laughs> the Lord's money before you go. <laughs> and, and, and Doug, Earth, look, look. Uh, I would have known walked up, you get but it was just so dry. Mm -hmm. And when I took one bite. Mm -hmm. I see why it was a total of five dollars and twenty something. Uh -huh. The devil knows what he wants. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh yeah. The importance of the human body. I gotta quit. I didn't even get to my other table. Yeah. But this is what the spirit wanted me to give you. The importance of the human body, and I'm close, cannot be overstated, Iris. It can't be overstated. Uh -huh. It is very, Brother Smith, it's very important. Yeah. But historically, Sister Kim, man abuses, mm. he neglects, mm. and Jewel, he ignores oh, yeah. his body in many ways. Y'all want to help me close? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Now, when I say this one, don't y'all look at me too hard. But I told you I keep it real. Uh -huh. One of the ways we abuse Brother George and neglect and ignore mm -hmm. is by overeating. Mm -hmm. I think I told y'all last week, I didn't have no better sense mm -hmm. to keep on buying bigger clothes. Mm -hmm. Although God was keeping me. Okay. No high blood pressure, mm -hmm. no high cholesterol, and don't have that today. I have a little elevated blood pressure with a little small medicine. And I'm not bragging, y'all. I'm trying to tell you how God keeps us Amen. when we neglect ourselves. Amen. We neglect ourselves, Brother Marcus, by being inactive. Mm -hmm. I can tell, David, when I start back exercising uh, regularly, about the second day, I feel a difference in my body. Mm -hmm. The second day. We abuse by uh, being too active sometimes, wearing ourselves out, but for the wrong reason. We abuse by fighting one another. That's an abuse of the body. We abuse showing up by killing one another. And then we abuse ourselves, this precious body that God designed and he orchestrated and he built by using harmful substances. We care for the external while we abuse the internal. Uh -huh. We abuse by getting little to rest. But Paul says, as you stand on your feet, Paul says there is a better way. Uh -huh. 
Let me hear you say there's a better way. There's a better way. I told you I wouldn't be long this morning. There is a better way. When we realize, Brother Black, that we have been shaped and formed by God, mm -hmm. here it is, for his glory, Iris, Amen. we will live a better way. Amen. Amen. We will use our bodies as a living sacrifice. Amen. Watch what the text says. Holy. I told you, that's not no mysterious word. The word holy, hagios, it simply means of God. We will move in life with the knowledge of what God has intended for us. Uh -huh. Amen. That's how holiness means. Living like God desires us to live. And God wants to be first. Amen. Now watch the text. Holy and acceptable. Uh -huh. That's right. To who? Mm -hmm. To God. Uh -huh. CP, all I want you to do, all God wants you to do is get real Amen. about him being first. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 We, we will never grow to be the church that God desires us to be mm -hmm. if we're not all in. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. And all in is not saying, mm -hmm. Brother Miles, well, well, I wish you would have asked me earlier. Well, you're supposed to be ready. You're supposed to be. Now, it's different if you say, well, Brother Miles, I can't because I got something else to do. But when you say, well, Brother Miles, I wish you asked me. I didn't know earlier. God didn't know. Saturday morning, Marcus, I'm getting ready to go to a funeral in Chicago. I get called to ask to do a eulogy in three hours. Now, Sister Kim, the only consideration I gave was my schedule for Chicago, Jalen. Do you think I said, well, I'm not ready? <laughs> Can you imagine, George, a gospel preacher saying he ain't ready to preach? As a child of God, we must be ready. And if we're not ready, that means we have to equip ourselves. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we're not even using, as a church, you're not even tapping into the resources that the leadership is providing for you. I'm looking at the numbers on Facebook. Our church can't be participating. Amen. I'm looking at the numbers on Wednesday. We have almost most of the time on Wednesday, and I'm, and I'm going to say it, we have mo more outside right. folk mm -hmm. in our Bible class than our members. Right. Amen. 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 What are you doing, Miles? I am beseeching you, as Paul says, and this ain't about me. Like, it wasn't about Paul. He's beseeching you to give your life to God in totality. Amen. You ought to be coming to the leadership saying, what can I do? Right. What else can I do? What else do I need to do? And this business about, I don't know my purpose in life, you sure don't sound like one of my members. Mm -hmm. Because if, not, if you don't run no ministry in the church, your purpose is to save souls. Amen. Be faithful to God and save souls and edify your brothers and sisters. That's your purpose. Amen. Now, if you want to talk about what your career is, you choose that. God ain't concerned with what your career is. But your purpose right. is to serve God, Amen. save souls, and edify the body. Paul says there is a better way. And then the text says, Sister Martha, this is your reasonable yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. You, you know what that means, Sister Kim, in layman terms. You know what that means? After all I've done for you, the least you can do is put me first. After all I've done for you, what did you do, Lord? I created a world for you to live in. I gave you houses and land. Yeah. I gave you intelligence and wisdom. Yeah. I gave you a body to live in. Yeah. 
gave you health in that body. Gave you a husband and wife and children. Gave you, let you have your career. Let you have your education. I gave you eyesight to see. I gave your feet to walk. Put clothes on your back. Shoes on your feet. Food in your cap. The least you can do is do for me what I did for you. And that is put you first. Gave the son to die for your sin. Not knowing whether you're going to obey him or not. But he gave because he loved you. And what he says, just love me enough. Like I loved you. Put me first. Stop talking about you don't have money to give. Plan and budget for the church like you budget for your family. But do it first. Stop talking about you don't have time. Budget your time just like you map out your time for your work and for your vacation and to go visit your mama and to go to your child's school. Map out your time. Put in first. Stop going out of town, taking the Lord's money, forgetting about the Lord. Lies and you'll make up and you never make up. You ain't lying to me. God is seeing you. Making excuses while you're not in Bible class. God sees you. He he is. I ain't got time. I'm not wasting my time on you. Amen. Say man, so smile. Amen. I don't waste my time yeah. trying to investigate you. So smiles asked me one what 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 what, what, what brother so and so he I said, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I said, so like, I don't know. They just simply said they're not gonna be here. I'm not going that's not my business. Yeah. I told you I'm not your father, mm. I'm not your secretary. Mm. So I receive what you share with me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to be like God. Oh. So I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. You're too grown. Amen. I don't argue with my children. Mm. I don't. And I told y'all, I'm not trying to be their parent. Yeah. I'm their advisor. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. God sees us. Mm. He knows us. He designed us for purpose. Right. And that purpose is that we will put him first. Like he put us first in every aspect of our life. And then God got the nerve to give you some freedoms. What a great God we serve. He give you freedoms. And ask for you one seventh of what he gives you. And some of us can't get that to him. Shame on you. If you're here today and you need to be saved from your sins, you must hear how Jesus came from glory, how he died for you, how he, his purpose was to die and to get up out of the grave on the third day, Amen. establishing the church of Christ. Paul says this way in Romans 16, 16, salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Amen. Why did you build the church, Jesus? Because Paul says there's salvation in it. 2 Timothy 10, 2 and verse number 10. Paul says, salvation is in Christ. Being in Christ is not his physical body because he shed that body. So it has to be his spiritual body, which is the church. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22 and 23. You must believe that with all of your heart. Hebrews 11 and 6, because without faith, you cannot please God. So everything you do to please God has to be connected to faith. Where does faith come from? Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. So whatever we practice, Irwin, whatever we practice, Doug, has to be of faith because if it's outside of faith, it can't please God. Amen. Amen. See, we ain't trying to please us. Yeah, We're trying to please God. Amen. Well, where did he say don't do this? Where did he say do it? 1 Thessalonians 5, 21, prove all things yeah. and hold fast to that which is good. What is good? That which God has spoken. Right. Stop, stop trying to figure out what we can give God when he done told you what to give him. Right. Don't you know you're on safe ground? Yes, when mama send you to the store and tell you what to get, you on safe ground when you come back with what she said. Yeah, that's right. You've taken a chance of your life. If you had my mom to come back with something she didn't tell you to get. That's right. That's right. And then you sat there like you dumb and said, Well, mama, I didn't know. That's when you really get it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what God. 
See, ignorance is no excuse for God. Because right. yeah. Paul said in 2 Timothy 2 15 that we should study right. to prove ourselves to who? God. Ain't no excuse. Turn to somebody and say it ain't no excuse. Yeah. I've come to tell you, it's no excuse, y'all. Yeah. Either you are all in right. or you're out. Yeah. Then you must confess Christ or repent of your sins. Luke 13, 3 and 5. What does that mean, Brother Miles? Have a change of heart towards evil ways. Turn your heart from the world and turn to God. That's what repentance is. And then you must confess Christ, Matthew 10, 32 and 33. And verse 33 says, if you don't confess me before man, I'll deny you before my Father in heaven. And then you must be buried in the water of grave baptism for the remission of your sins, Romans 6 and 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism, not confession. There's many people teaching that you're saved at the point of confession. But the Bible says we are buried with him by baptism into his death. Like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. We, who we, those who have been baptized, shall rise and walk where? Well in newness of life. New life comes after baptism. Amen. Galatians 3, 27, for as many of you have been baptized into Christ. While you're in Christ, salvation is there. Then you must live faithful. Revelations 2 and 10. Some of you should have trials for 10 days. That 10 days there is a, uh, uh, it's a symbol, it's symbolism. That means you'll have tribulation for a space of time. Doesn't mean exact 10 days, that's symbolism. It's a space of time. Some of you will be cast into prison. He says, but be thou faithful yeah. unto death. Yeah. You receive a crown of life that shall never fade away. Turn to somebody and tell them, I'm determined, I'm determined to be faithful. To be faithful. Yeah. Don't lie to him and don't lie to God. Make a change. <laughs> I'm going to be intentional. I'm going to be faithful. Amen. And I'm going to thrive in Christ. Yes. Because thrive right. is a lifelong pursuit of holiness. Amen. It ain't going to come overnight, Selena. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give out. Don't give in. Amen. Keep on striving. Amen. Keep on striving. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Well, and I 
feel like you're in the 20%. You're the one always doing the work. You're the one Brother Miles always calling on. You're the one the church looks to. I want to say something to you. Keep on keeping on. Amen. There's a great reward yes. that awaits you. And your labor mm. is not in vain. Amen. Brother Miles may not call your name every Sunday. Your name may not appear in the bulletin. But I want to say to you from God on high, Keep on keeping. Amen. Don't grow weary yes, in well-doing. And remember who you're doing it for. Yeah. The Lord will bless you. He will bless you. He will bless you. Those little blessings are coming. Those little blessings will come. I'm telling you, there's been days, Selena, and I'm not lying to y'all. And I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to say this. And I'm not talking about my savings account, but I'm talking about my operational account. Mm -hmm. Y'all say amen. amen. I'm talking about the money I draw from Kim every week, every day. Mm -hmm. Brother Earl, listen. My account has been down to five dollars. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to sing that song. What's that song down to the last five dollars? Y'all two dollars. See, that's even worse. Two dollars. Right? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm down to the last two dollars. <laughs> I ain't been that low, day, man. <laughs> but I showed them down to five. What I'm about to say to you is not no preacher parable. Mm -hmm. Sister Pat and God mm -hmm. made a way. Yeah, yeah, sure. But let me tell you why he made a way. Let me tell you why he made a way. Marcus, it's not because I had spent all my other money on Oreos. Right, 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 right. right. I'm serious, y'all. Sierra, it was because I was giving and giving yeah. and blessing yeah. and blessing yeah. others. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come back. Come back. And he makes a way. Yeah. yeah. He makes a way. Yeah. But you got to be all in. That's yes, right. sir. That's right. Now, that don't mean every wicked moment you read a scripture <laughs> or teaching about. That's not what it means. It means a frame of mind, a devotion of heart. Mm -hmm. 
That's what that means. You're going to study when you should study. You're going to prepare when you should prepare. You're going to perform when you should perform. You're going to worship when you should worship. You're going to, you're going to act when he calls on you to act. Whether it's through your leadership, whether it's through your minister, whether it's through a friend or neighbor, you're going to be ready to be that light Amen. to the world. Amen. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. I can't get up here and preach without notes like I did for just 35 minutes. Without notes. I can't do that. So small, so small, I'll tell you, they came in the office, I was scribbling down some notes, some little points, some bullet points. Because the Spirit was speaking to me. You got to give him your heart. Amen. Sister Pam Garrett, just want to thank God for the body here and ask prayers for attended family members, extended, excuse me, family members. I believe it's Makina, who is 20 plus, lives in Georgia. She had emergency surgery Wednesday for a rare tumor in her sinuses. She has had medication or medical conditions since birth, and many uh, surgeries. Please pray for her complete healing. Amen. Praise God Amen. for bringing her through this surgery. Amen. Amen. We're going to remember Makina in our prayers. Thank you, Sister Pam. Jarrell Smith, good morning, family. Thanking God for another day on this side of the living. Yeah. Thanking him for his grace and mercy. Thanking him for his continuous glorifying touch. Continue to pray for me on my journey and asking the Lord to give me strength on my patience and consistency in being a faithful servant of the Lord. Amen. I'm asking the church for a special prayer for my cousin who was just diagnosed with cancer. She starts chemo next month. Roya Lawson. Is it Lawson? is Lawson. Uh, also, I'm asking for protection and guidance and mercy for my mom. She is in the Thailand for an entire month of May. Amen. We're going to be praying for his mother and for his cousin, Roya. Sister Iris Cannon, thanking God for allowing me to see another day, asking prayers for favor over my family, immediate and extended. Prayers for my CP family, brother and sister Miles and their ministry. Prayers for the sick and shut-in. Prayers for Sinclair, Holman, Veronica and Malik. The Campbell family and Kenneth Harrington for healing. Prayers for those who are struggling with issues, with losses. Praying for my health and my peace. Amen, sister. Amen. Kenneth, we're going to be praying for you. Brother McKinney's, David McKinney's. Thanking God for all his uh, blessings. Asking for prayers for favor in my business ventures and at work. Asking for the Lord to give me protection, give me and protect me, and give me the strength to endure and overcome any obstacles in my way. Amen. Also asking for traveling grace for my family and I when we travel out of town next week for, uh, is that Michaela's? Okay, Michaela's basketball tournament and favor for her team. Amen. 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 We will certainly be praying. Y'all ready to pray? Amen. Isn't it a grand and great privilege? Amen. Amen. To be able to call on the heart of the God who created the universe? Yes. Amen. What a blessing. Amen. Father, we bow down, humble hearts and humble heads, before your mighty throne of grace. We are thanking you, Lord, for all of your blessings. Father, we're praying this morning that you will continue to cover us with your amazing and matchless grace. We are praying for our brothers and sisters who have come before you this morning in written requests. Be with Brother David McKinney's. Continue to bless his family. Continue blessing with health and strength. Bless his businesses and the ventures that, that he uh, partake in. Bless his career, his job. We're asking, Lord, that you will continue to give him protection, strength, and endurance. Give him victory over every obstacle in his life. 
We're praying for traveling grace for him and his family on next week. Uh, as you as you watch over them, Father, we ask you to give favor to Michaela and her basketball team. Mm -hmm. Give them favor, Father. Mm -hmm. Help them to do all that they can do mm -hmm. to prepare themselves and do for them what they cannot do and give them favor. Amen. Be with Adriana today. Watch over her and protect her. And bring her back to us at the next appointed time. We're praying for Sister Cannon this morning. I ask you to continue to bless Sister Cannon, her family, immediate family, and extended family. Bless this church, her church family, that we will all be faithful, dedicated, and committed. So thankful for her and others who pray for myself and Sister Miles on a daily basis. Father, we do not take that for granted. We know the power of prayer. James 5, 16, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. We ask you to bless our family. From the eldest, our matriarch, to the newest born member. Praying for Ramona's aunt. That you will work a miracle in her life. We know that you still work miracles, Lord. So we pray. We know it seems dim and it seems bleak. But we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus that you will turn things around. Mm -hmm. But if you decide to give her rest, we pray that the family will accept your holy divine will. Mm -hmm. We're praying for all of the sick, the afflicted, and the shut in, in every institution and everywhere, that you will touch, heal, raise, and deliver. We're praying for Sister Sinclair, mm -hmm. Sister Veronica, Brother Malik, praying for Kenneth. Harrington and the Campbell family, that you will bless them with peace, healing, strength, and comfort. We're praying for those who are in their bereaved moments of life, how their loved ones have passed away. We ask you to strengthen them and comfort them and give them peace, restful nights and peace with them. We're praying for Sister Iris's health, for strength and for peace in her life. Bless her financially. Praying for Brother Jarrell Smith. Father, I ask you to continue to bless him. Continue to strengthen him and continue to give him your grace and your mercy. That he will continue to glorify you, Father, in all that he do. Give him strength, give him patience and consistency of heart. That he will be that humble servant that you're calling on him to be. We're praying for his cousin, Roya. We're praying in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will touch and heal Roya's body. Remove that cancer and make her whole. We're praying that you will bless his family with protection, your grace, and your mercy. Be with his mother who's on foreign soil. Keep her from all hurt, harm, danger, death, disease, and delay. Bring her back home safe and sound and that she will find all things well. We're praying for Sister Pam Garrett. Come, giving you all glory and honor, Father. We're praying for her and her entire family. Yes. But we pray a special prayer for Makina. You know who she is. You know what she's dealing with because you made her. We're asking in the mighty name of Jesus that you will touch her sin sick body. And that you will touch her and heal her, Father. Turn her condition around. Confound the doctors and the medical team that they will be forced to say that it's only God that has made a difference. Praying that you will not only continue to bring her through the surgeries that she may face, but we simply ask you to make her whole. Now, Father, we offer up once again all of those whom we previously brought before you this morning. Those who are sick, those who are traveling, those who have lost loved ones, you know who they are. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will touch and heal, that you will deliver comfort and give strength. Now we pray for the preached word that has gone forth this morning. Amen. We pray that it will find a resting place on good soil in the hearts of every man and woman who have heard under the sound of my voice. Amen. And we pray that that seed of the word will germinate and will grow with a great harvest of obedience and understanding. 
that you might get all the glory. Yes. That some lost soul might be saved. Amen. Satan might be terrified. And the man of God will be encouraged. Amen. This is our prayer we ask in your holy son Jesus name. Let us all say amen. 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 I tell you there's a song entitled I Feel Good. Mm. I Feel Good. Because there's something about the name of Jesus that makes me feel good. I feel good every Sunday I come and share with my brothers and sisters in Christ. And David, I go home knowing that I have satisfied my father. I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you inheritance among the sanctified. Let's prepare our hearts and minds now to commune with the father. And to give back a portion of that which he has given to us. God bless you is my prayer. Amen. Amen. Get this nice and clean for Brother Elliot. I do a lot of spitting while I'm up here. <laughs> so I want to keep Brother Elliot safe. Amen. Y'all say amen when you can. Brother Ellis said amen. 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 We come now to the part of the service where we are to commune with our Lord and Savior. The Bible tells us that upon the first day of the week, we should be communing with our Lord. This was instituted by Jesus himself on the night before he was betrayed and before he made a sacrifice for us. He told his disciples the bread represents his body and the cup represents his blood. Amen. Jesus made a sacrifice for us. He tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 through 29. This is a manner in which we need to be looking at ourselves, mm -hmm. particularly in a worldly manner. Uh -huh. He tells us in verse 28, let a man examine himself, mm -hmm. and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. But he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, yep. eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Mm -hmm. This isn't something that we should just take as a routine. We're thinking about the Lord and his sacrifice. Let's give thanks. Mm -hmm. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to commune. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son. Mm -hmm. We pray that each and every one of us will partake of the bread which represents his body and the cup which represents his blood in a worthy manner. Mm -hmm examining ourselves and protecting it, examining ourselves and thinking of him. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
collection. Also upon the first day of the week, we are commanded to lay by and store and give yeah. as the Lord has prospered us. Amen. God gives us so much. Yes, he does. But he only asks that we just give back just a portion, a portion. of what he has given us. Amen. We should be so thankful and grateful for the Lord for all the many blessings that he has given us. Amen. He tells us, Paul tells the church at Corinth that it's a sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. If you sow bountifully, you're going to reap bountifully. Mm -hmm. If you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. And sometimes we don't think about that mm -hmm. until it happens. Yeah. We wonder why. Where mm -hmm. did the money go? Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to make a way. Amen. If you don't give it to him, you're going to give it away somewhere. Because mm -hmm. it's going to cause it to happen. Say it. So let's think about this. We need to give back to the Lord because he loves us and he gives us so much. Amen. Let us give thanks. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to give. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love for us. We pray that each and every one of us will give because we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Everything I have, everything God gave to me, well, everything I have, everything God
I wouldn't have came up here so early. I ain't know when my guy was going to get the remix on. Amen. 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 I want to thank Brother Miles for this sermon Amen. today. Amen. Uh, Amen. You know, Brother Miles, sometimes you just got to be reminded yes, of sir. what you need and on a daily basis. Uh, you know, because uh, we get consumed with living and doing things and forget, you know, what what's really important and what's really what's really happening. Right. You know, out here. So, uh, so we thank you for that. Um, weekly Bible study. On, on Zoom, uh, <coughs> just preparing for another week of, of great lessons, and uh, I was absent. I thank Sister Miles for uh, stepping in Amen. for me Amen. and everything. And, and y'all, I mean, y'all don't understand. Y'all, y'all keep the administrator on their toes. You yeah, know, yeah, uh, yeah. you know. So, uh, you know, I don't take it lightly. You know, when somebody steps up and. It helps to make for a better presentation Amen. as Amen. far as people that are all over the country that watch that watch that. So I thank her for that. We ask you to tune in and be a part of it. Uh, what Brother Miles said, I know firsthand. I watch all the numbers yes, and create a lot of the content. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, I look at our numbers. Our numbers, the, the, the larger percentage come from uh, someplace else Amen. other than Bloomington. Right. And Amen. that's just not using your resources. That God's given you. Those are blessings. Amen. I guarantee you, Amen. if you watch those things, you'll gain something you know, from them. You know, um, watch them and pass it on to somebody else. You know, on everything that you watch, whether it be Facebook or YouTube, there's usually something that says share, where you can take a link and you can send that link, email that link, or text that link to somebody else. I mean, and some people are doing that. I know some people are doing that, but but there's some there's there's some people. That was very little. So we ask you to take advantage of it. You know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's good for you. You know, uh, you know, it's just making yourself available and doing it. Because I know with social media, it's all kinds of foolishness that, that uh, pop up. Oh, okay. and, and, and sometimes you should be scrolling on and you stay right there and, and you, you know, and you're looking at well, it. Give, give, give God that to well, you. Give God that time. Challenge so, yeah. right. mm -hmm. Challenge uh, Ladies Zoom Fellowship, um, living as, as God's Kingdom Woman, will be today at 5 p.m. Um, and please join the, uh, the, the Zoom link you should have already received. Woodhill Fellowship, uh, we have our Italian Fiesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian yeah. Fiesta. I heard about that. Yeah, I don't know. I, well, house came up with that. You know, I, I, we make but, hey, but we've been we've been rolling with that for some years. So, so, uh, but those people enjoy us coming there. It's, it's a great uh, ministry. Uh, so um, that will be Thursday. This Thursday at um, six thirty uh, p.m. Um, my brother Hollis, do you need do you people to meet you here early or anything? Yeah, we need to uh, be uh, there if possible somewhere around about 5.30. All right. I mean, for us to put things together. Our yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 5.30 here, 5.30 at the? Uh, 5.30 at uh, Woodhill. Wood 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 but do you need help with somebody taking stuff over here? No, I don't think. We're, okay, we're I'm right just here. saying, yeah. I, I want to be, let it be known. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Let it be known. So you said 5.30. 530. All right, 5:30 here at at uh, 5:30 at Woodhill. Right. All right, all right. So we, hey, we, if you can, if you're available, please come out and be a part of it. And and uh, brother House, you can you can see him today, or you can uh, text him or call him and see if there's any way you can be of assistance. All right. And while we're going that way, brother House still saying that we still need men to help with the schedule that we have. Now schedule's not out. But see Brother Hollis and tell him that you're available and, and you know and that sort of thing. So he kind of knows right. what he has to work with. This is the month, the month of May. We got a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. And it's like I said last week, all hands on deck now. It's time to, time to uh, if you got time, let me know. We're going to put it on the calendar, an hour, two hours, whatever it is. Because we've got plenty of things that we need to get done and we plan on getting them done. Lord's will, definitely by the end of this month, by the end of May. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Ladies, prayer and devotion. Uh, mark your calendars for Thursday, May uh, 11th at 6 30. Um, and, um, you know, that's something that you can be a part of and pass on to, um, to your family and friends. Brunching with moms. Uh, CP ladies will be brunching with moms on yep. Saturday, uh, the uh, uh, May 13th uh, at 10 a.m. The guest speaker will be uh, uh, Betsy uh, Satcher yeah. from the hey. Eastside Church of Christ in, uh, yeah. in Joliet, Illinois. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure she has something great to share. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, ladies uh, and moms be a part of that, and uh, I'm sure that'll be an enjoyable time. Uh, the Family Fair uh, Initiative Incorporated will be having an education award ceremony on Zoom. Uh, that is uh, Saturday, May 13th uh, as well. That's at 2.30 uh, p.m. Uh, and the, uh, which is the meeting and greet and the program is at uh, 3 p.m. Um, you see that there is a, a Zoom ID and passcode uh, to, to be involved. Uh, CP Anniversary Weekend. Um, uh, we'll be celebrating 20 years as a congregation and the fifth year uh, for Brother and Sister Miles. Yeah. That's June, uh, June 3rd uh, and sure. June 4th. Uh, I talked to Brother Johnson. I, you know, he, he ready. Yes, sir. He ready. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I don't know if they're gonna, they gonna bring they granddog with them or nothing like that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but uh, they, they definitely ready uh, to come and be with us. Amen. Yeah. All right. As well as, as other people that are coming to support us. Uh, yeah. Other uh, uh, choirs and, uh, and groups that are coming to, uh, to uh, present uh, uh, songs. Uh, so uh, make sure you hear Man. and then bring somebody with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, CP uh, prayer request. Um, again, you can always email those to cpcocilpray at gmail.com. We'll be glad to pray uh, on you and your family's behalf. Uh, giving options uh, are there uh, um, as normal, uh, different ways that you're able to be able to, uh, to give back. Uh, Central Point prayer request line, uh, 6.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. It's a great way to start your day. And also um, have an announcement. There will be a sisters meeting next Sunday immediately uh, after worship. So um, please uh, attend that. Again, that's next Sunday immediately after worship. Prayer list. Be in prayer for the, uh, the following uh, individuals. Um, Dr. Opier Miles is the mother, Brother Miles, uh, um, as he mentioned earlier, uh, just continue to pray for God has really, really uh, heard our prayers. Yes, and respect to her. I mean, it, yes, Lord. Um, just, I mean, you know, hmm. hearing her talk sometimes, you know, uh, I know a few times she got on the, uh, the Bible class and, you know, said a few a few words and everything. Brother Miles said she still cooking here and there and everything. And that's a, that's a, a blessing. Really Man. Is. Man. So continue this. We don't just put these names out here just Man. to say something, you know, include these, these, uh, these individuals in your, your everyday prayer life. Uh, pray for the Hallman family. Um, we're thankful for, uh, Sinclair, uh, uh, and just continue to pray for that family as a whole. Uh, AJS Management Logistics Incorporated, uh, which is the uh, business of Brother Black. Uh, continue to pray for uh, his business and uh, everyone involved. David and Gypsy Jones, Cliff Pugh and family, uh, Matthew and Ramona Miles, Miss Gloria Boatman, uh, the Cannon family, uh, Stephen Black and family, uh, Deja Jones, Gerard Jackson and family, uh, as well as others that uh, were we'll mentioned earlier. Um, May birthdays that we have coming up. Um, we have Zadie Cannon, um, May 7th. Um, we have uh, Brother Larry Johnson, uh, May 8th. Uh, Deja Jones, May 11th. Uh, Ramona Miles, May 17th. Well, uh -huh. well. 
Uh, and Vandez Jones, uh, May 21st. Oh, he looked. Join me on the 21st. And Brother Marcus Johnson, yours truly, yeah, on, the yeah. 20, on the 21st. All right. All right. Uh, we got Terrell Smith on the 26th. Kaya McCall on the 27th. Uh, we have anniversaries in May. Uh, Tyra and Jodine, May 18th. And uh, Janice, uh, Janice and Stephen Black on May 23rd. All right. Make sure that you... Give those people some love uh, on those special days. If there's nothing else, I'm going to turn it over to Brother Byron. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Governor of County, Brother Johnson. Amen. We've had a good day today, guys. Amen. A great day in the Lord. I'm standing right now to welcome our visitors this morning. I have one card before me. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Ware is with us. Uh, I believe it's Sister Ware. She's a member of the Church of Christ. Uh, we want to uh, welcome her and make her know that she is well known. Uh, welcome here, and, and we appreciate your presence today. You have anything you want to say? You don't have to. Just if you want to. Well, just thank you for the warm welcome back to Mega Church. God bless you. Thank you so very kindly. Are you just visiting here now? Okay. God bless you. It's good to have you with us. And you are our honored guest today. Amen. 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 Uh, I don't see any new faces uh, in here. Uh, so, uh, Sister Ware, we have a gift we give to all of our first-time visitors. Uh, and you're not going to receive this gift anywhere else because there's no other place like this place. Amen. Anywhere near this place. Y'all ready, CB? Amen. We thank you for visiting us at the Central Point Church of Christ. Oh, we're so glad, so glad that you came today to the Central Point Church. Well, sister, where we thank you and you for visiting us at the Central Point Church of Christ. Oh, we're so glad, so glad that you came today to the Central Point Church of Christ. Trust and pray that when you're in this, in this area that you'll stop by and be with us once again. Amen. God bless you. We'll be praying for your safe travel home. Uh, also, though, there are some who have asked about donations to the Family Affair uh, Scholarship Fund. Um, and I apologize. I had this information and I meant to give it to Marcus uh, uh, later last week. Um, but but y'all have no idea how my schedule is from day to day because I don't even know. Uh, but certainly uh, it's a it's a simple cash app to remember. Uh, it's dollar sign okay. family family. We got it? Yeah. See I told y'all I thought I didn't send it. You see that? Y'all yeah. need yeah. praying y'all preaching. You see that? <laughs> there it is. Alright so those of you who like to donate and again um, it's not just for this year. This is an ongoing. They've given away over a hundred and some thousand dollars in scholarships. Mm -hmm. You have any children, grandchildren that would like to submit to that scholarship, we will definitely give you the information so you can submit application for that scholarship. It doesn't have to be a Christian school. It could be any school uh, where they're uh, continuing their education. Uh, so even if we, you don't get it in time for this uh, year's uh, scholarship, um, it's perpetual. It's going to go on and on. So feel free to donate and um, you can write it off. You can write off your donation as well uh, if you give to this institution. Uh, God bless you. Stand on your feet. We're getting ready to go home. Uh, remember, we look to see you on Wednesday night in Bible study. Y'all know what time to start, right? Man. Seven o'clock. We look That's to it. see you. That's I it. give a great spirit. I ain't going to tell you what that is because some of y'all will take that <laughs> and look for some more. Uh, but certainly, we look to see you at seven o'clock. Uh, where well, we can have a great time in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Are you going to pray for me? Amen. And I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Because we're all apart. Look like Santa. Sing it again and I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Because we're all apart. Look like Santa. Well, now I'm with you leave today. Don't forget to pray. You should always say, He is the only way. He'll keep you in His arms. He'll keep you from all. He'll bring us back again. 